Hi, so in a previous video, I showed you how to set up your artist series with Studio One. So today we're gonna do the same thing, but this time we're gonna be using Harrison Mixbus Console, which is a pretty cool DAW. Before we open a session with Mixbus, there's a couple of things you need to do. It's basically the same thing as the last video, but if you didn't see that video, here's what you need to do. Now you wanna make sure your control surface is powered on. Then you wanna to go to Control Panel. Control Panel, you're gonna look for the Yukon icon, you're going to open that up. And over here we have Mixbus in Studio One. So what you want to do is add Mixbus. So we're going to click Add, Program Files. I'm going to press the M key on my keyboard and I'm going to look for Mixbus. Once I do that, enter the folder and locate the main executable. Open, Apply, and OK. Now the computer is going to ask you for the administrative privileges. It's going to ask you to restart. You don't really have to restart, but I suggest you should. If you don't want to, you can restart the application, but that might not work. Now, what you need to remember is the ports. So Mixbus is going through one through four, Studio One, 13 to 16. So I'm gonna cancel out of here and I'm gonna close this as well. Now we're gonna launch this session. So the first thing you wanna do, you wanna go to Edit, Preferences, you wanna go to Control Surface, make sure that Mackie's checked, go there, double click on Mackie, Device Setup, Device Type, Artist Mix, so this is the main important part, Surface and Visa, Surface receives Visa. So we're gonna select Euphonics MIDI 1 and Euphonics MIDI 2. I don't know if you heard that, but my, but my faders just went up. I can close all of this. And we're gonna go to the mixer. We're gonna make sure that we're on the first fader and check this out. I'm able to control the faders and mix bus using my artist mix. Now it's not perfect. It's a lot of issues with it. One of the things I really dislike about this, compared to using a Mackie controller, when I used to have my Mackie controller, whenever I would touch a track, it automatically jumped to that track. It doesn't do that. So you're gonna kinda have to rely on the bank and the page on your control surface, and that's not perfect. So it's pretty confusing. But I wanna show you a couple of other things to help the experience. So you wanna come right here and you wanna locate the Yukon main application. And as you can see, I have my artist control and I wanna to go to general. You wanna make sure you select this option here, select by touch. It's very important you do that. Reason, if I touch my faders, I don't know if you guys see that, that outline around the channel strip itself, it's doing that because I'm touching the fader. Without that, whenever you're grabbing a fader, you really wouldn't know which fader you're grabbing. Again, it's not perfect. One of the things that suck about this, if I decide to grab more than one fader at a time, it's only gonna outline one channel strip although I'm able to control multiple faders if I wanted to. Thanks for watching my video. This is Ray, and I'm out of here. Later.